Hey, Saturday night, May 21st. We're just uh, coming up on 8.30 here. And we're in Oliver, so we're, we're doing a little more. Come to Oliver where the radiation isn't too high. Uh, and, and lo and behold, you know, in spite of living, you know, like five kilometers, not even by air, um, from Oliver, BC, to where I am, just... Uh, North, North, no, I guess it would be uh, North, Northeast of Oliver, about 4.87 kilometers. And, uh, and lo and behold, I, I don't know if this is something recent or what, but well, here, I'm just going to show you. These are the signs in the uh, Chamber of Commerce, which is at the uh, north end of town. We just came from supper, having uh, everything but seafood. Come on, bear! At the uh, Asia Buffet on Main Street. I go there a lot. Just Chinese immigrants. Well, the kids are born here. Most of them, but come here. I don't know. I never really asked her. I kind of think that's probably why they uh, went to all the fucking hassle, in spite of not knowing English, having to leave their trades, and um, came to Canada. I'm just guessing. But they don't like to. Oh, well, you know how it is. I ask people them kind of questions, and I don't feel comfortable answering them. So, anyhow, here we are, right in front of the. Chamber of Commerce office in Oliver, and uh, and look at what I see. It does. Well, the sign's new. At least the outside of the sign, or that the poster in the sign. Well, here, let's just proud sister city of Hyundai, Fukushima, Japan. Well, lo and behold, eh? So I. I'm just delighted. <clears throat> I wasn't aware of that when I was telling you guys all to come to BC. Uh, you know, that was when we still had an intact monitoring system. So, you know, I can't endorse anything I don't know for certain. That is my strict liability. I mean, in fact, I wouldn't be Doc Atomics otherwise, right? Yeah, see? Look at that. Recognize any of these things? Or are these... Eh? Yeah. Bandai. I... Uh, uh, I am tickle pink. Well, the sign may be new. I, I, I don't actually talk to many locals. It's just, it's just the easiest that way. Okay, well, uh, this, uh, you know, again, I never have, I have been in this Chamber of Commerce. Right? Oh, yeah, here we go. This would be the KVR railway out along the back. This would be the old train tracks. Right in front, because because I don't see no um, radio astronomy dishes here like like the other train tracks in the area, which is the White Lake Dominion Radio Observatory, which would be about 23 kilometers north northeast from here. So this is actually an old railway station, passenger railway station, well, passenger and freight. Right, yes, of course. So I used to seeing Canadian National and CPR stuff. I've actually never really touched very much KVR railway stuff. Not yet. I've been a very busy man in my four years, yeah. And I don't mean <sighs> busy doing things that should have been done. Mostly wasting my time trying to Get a grub steak again, fixing those goddamn indentured servitude machines that Henry J. Ford came up with. Hey, so here, here's where we first stayed when we came back to Oliver in November 2006. May have been like December 3rd or something that we rented first. See where that blue tent is in the tree? Well, just over actually, we're brown tent is. That's where we parked the bus and we took out our plastic fence and we we cornered off 
the corner. We were down near broke, so we didn't even have a proper fucking camera. <coughs> Heavy duty pirates. <laughs> Heavy duty transport pirates in Regina cleaned us out of our come back to PC now steak. Fuck, I don't know. Started out with 10 grand and got here with maybe one. I don't know. All I remember is all the C notes were used up. <laughs> and we were taken in the 50s by the time we had. Came in on the number three, and um, 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 by the time we got out, and uh, the Soyuz, which is um, south of here, about 19 kilometers. Oh, isn't that nice, eh? It's kind of dark, so we're not going to show up any defects. So we're not even going to call this sampling. But fortunately, I didn't get here early enough. Ah, so here's just a little bit of history. Ah. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we're getting kind of dark here, but we'll try. It's just a... Uh, little blurb about the salmon habitat which has been greatly altered uh, most of this is a canal eh? I, I, I really can't comment on what the original aquifer was before they uh, decide to uh, aquify the desert <laughs> keep in mind we're semi-desert I'll show you when we take you up into the hills. Well, she's maybe not this year, but <laughs> I mean, I'll show you up there, but you're not going to see the semi arid because this is our second record wet year in a row. So, here you go. Uh, and this is a uh, Kingsman Park. Oh, wait a minute. Why does this say CPR? Oh. Uh -huh, who knows? Might have been CFR from when it was Fairview. Was the nearest nearest quality? That's southwest of town. And there's a nice paved walkway all the way along on. Um, Crap. You know, must have been that uh, food I ate. <sighs> ate too much. But it goes all along the channel right up to uh, Tukanuit, which is like my end. So, you know, you got like seven, eight kilometers of uh, trail. Uh, I think they allow bicycles on here. I, I know I've certainly seen them. And dogs and horses, especially at the far end. And this here, uh, Kids do tube in it, but you know there are danger sign uh, postings and stuff. They they get on at Tukanuit or or uh, Okanagan Falls, which is 20 about 23 kilometers north of here. So uh, let's wrap it up. <clears throat> Bears had his piddle in the park. And. Uh, we're just gonna go for a couple of Guinness at uh, at Murphy's Pub on Main Street, uh, which, by the way, is our only pub and hotel left. We've got a couple of motels, but that's that's basically it. Our uh, they closed down the South Winds Hotel, which is a big old hotel, like like late mid 70s, late 70s. <clears throat> Tore it down, and there's now a brand new shopping mall, which I showed you in an earlier tour of Oliver, and. Uh, I bet. And then our other old hotel. Uh, well, it it burnt down. The guy spent a piss load of money and he rebuilt it. And that was also on Main Street. So I'll just show you a little bit of the park here. Yeah. 
really too bad we don't have better light. Yeah, no point even taking plant samples. Evening. Well, there you go. Should we go to Murphy's Pub? It's not very good, Guinness. And you guys specifically asked them to pour it gently so as not to lose all the CO2. I mean, that's, that's, that's the whole thing about Guinness. Get a little tipsy from asphyxiation from the extra CO2 in it for, you know, two or three minutes. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> this is a cute little park. At the uh, far end where there's a parking lot at the north end. This is being kids that did some work here or something. School kids. A whole bunch of them are hand printed and named in there. Uh, so, uh, just, just all kinds of history. But I guess you got to be a local to know it or ask. I'll have to remind them. You know, they all thought they were going to count on their big fat pensions, but, you know, we all know what, what happened to that, huh? That's a quaint little park. Back when there were lots of, um, migrant college kids from Quebec for coming out for summer, summer work so they could go back to college next year and, you know, get their student loan and stuff. They, they would always... This was kind of one of the congregation places, and they had meet up and pool the resources and whatnot. And you know, one or two of them might have a van or or a car or something, a big old car. And then they go to wherever their camps or station. It's not very good facilities. They don't. as far as um, migrant workers go. And it's usually only like two weeks. And, and then it moves moves up the valley and then starts again at the south end. And, you know, it depends what the food is and stuff. Of course, that's all changing too, right? Because even the... Like I keep saying, it's all going to Grapevine. It's a big corporate takeover Ponzi scheme. They used it in California. And they used it in the Niagara. They used it in... In the Riviera, in, in in France, and various locations in Europe where you could grow grapes, and well, in the end, I don't know. It just all ends up being a couple big corporations. When farms change, that that just it seems to be the general rule. Don't matter what they're growing: pigs, barley, booze, or ganja. <laughs> oh no, I don't think you can say that about ganja farms. The hemp industry, with a little bit of fiber hemp that they allow, but never enough to actually start an industry. It's just like disgusting. So here's a little bit better shot. We're still in the parking lot of the uh, Chamber of Commerce. That's um, Centennial Park, by the way. They don't stay open year-round anymore. Last year was the first year not doing that. There, there are lots of campgrounds around, though. This one has for some RV as well as a tent, whatever you want. That's right in the center of town, which is kind of unusual. I think we were there for. We paid them a month's rent and utilities. And I don't think there will be very many long lineups this summer in, in the southern Okanagan. Last was last year was pretty meek and the economy was a lot worse. A lot fewer people running around with lines of credit now. They were all up far enough, so they all got ahead with 20-30%. Manipulated into defaults. And, you know, the old milling trick. And,
Okay, in you go, Bear. Are you go for a beer? You got the, guard the truck while I go for for a beer? Yeah, you're allowed two small glasses. I'm uh Oh, my massometer's off right now. I'm uh, 643 pounds. But that's the real thumb. That doesn't really indicate your blood alcohol level. So, you know, playing around with... <laughs> Gravity with your singularity is not... Doesn't, that, that doesn't count with the breathalyzer, I don't think.